Do you want to bristle with that burger? Probably not. Which is why Brush Tech's Double Helix Grill Brush is so great. It's a safer alternative to traditional grill brushes. With those, bristles can be left on the grill and end up in your food. In fact, the Center for Disease Control has warned grillers about accidentally swallowing bristles this way. With Brush Tech, there is no way for the bristles to become dislodged. The brush has two springs made of twisted wire. It almost looks like a slinky that's been unraveled, which makes two flexible yet sturdy bristle helixes that efficiently scrape the surface of your grill. We, we were hearing a lot of news about this. The bristles will become loose and the bristles will enter your barbecue and potentially into your burger and then inside you. Well, we said, well, what if we get rid of the bristles, but has something that will act like bristles? So we came up with two springs that are intertwined that will separate and mold to the shape of your grill. It will scrape and clean your barbecue without the fear of having any bristles fall off like conventional barbecue brushes that you're used to. Plus, Brush Tech Barbecue Grill Brush just gets the job done better. The six inch base covers a lot more surface area than your average brush. The brush's long handle lets you grab hold with two hands which we admit you'll probably need because this brush takes a little more elbow grease. But it's worth it because it cleans the tops and sides of your grill at the same time. When you're done, it's dishwasher safe too, so you can get that brush clean inside the house instead of leaving it outside where it could attract insects and who knows what else. Brush Tech has been making hard to find brushes in the small town of Plattsburgh, New York since 1976. Their company is passionate about product innovation and creates a line of brushes that are unique, effective, and made in the USA. This summer, clean your grill better and more safely with a double helix brush that leaves nothing behind.